These former soldiers have given up combat for coffee. In 2012, they were stationed in East Timor, working with the Australian Army as part of a peacekeeping force. Their eight month deployment ended two years ago, but the soldiers continue to serve the Timorese people right here in Melbourne. A lot of people that start uh, coffee companies and all that start at barista level and start, you know, they, they get a, an appreciation for coffee and all that. We've, we've done it the opposite way. We actually had no experience. After discovering coffee crops while fighting militia on the Indonesian border, the soldiers decided to start a coffee company. They use the earnings from the army to set up the company and maintain their connection with the people of East Timor. You know, our deployment gave us a better insight into the country and you know what these people are, are living with day to day and we just wanted to make it a little bit better for them. Coffee provides income for nearly a quarter of the Timorese population. But farmers have traditionally been paid very little for their crops. We thought, yeah, we can, we can do a better job of this. What we do is we employ the villagers to pick the cherries and then um, we also pay for their labour and then we also buy the product that they pick as well at two to three times higher than the going price. Since its establishment, Wild Timor Coffee has increased the income of farming families, improved coffee growing practices and expanded the presence of Timorese coffee on the international market. The coffee is sold in cafes across Melbourne and the profits are funnelled back into the community it was grown in. We've um, fu uh, channeling funds back to them so they can have things like water tanks and solar panels and um, you know tarps to dry the, the coffee out. Wild Timor Coffee House, the flagship cafe for the coffee company, is due to open mid-year. What we want to do is make this place a hub for the, uh, the Timorese community and have a good cafe at the same time. From the military to macchiatos, these soldiers are finding new ways to serve the people of East Timor. Abby O'Brien, Newsline.